Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is a weekend love and general situationship that reading session for you Capricorn. This is also your next 24 hours reading. Let us see what is happening towards you. What is the intuitive message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know. This is for the sign of Capricorn, okay? Thank you, Capricorn, for being here. Thanks for, um, you know, dropping by. Thanks for choosing the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe, okay? And if you would like to further connect with me, Capricorn, I invite you to check out the description box below. You'll see in there uh, the link on how to subscribe in our mailing list or newsletter. Um, we send out new moon, full moon, bonus reading. So if you want to receive the notification, please be part of our mailing list or newsletter, okay? And also, we've got an IG account. Um, our official IG account, um, the username, it's down in the description box below. Please be careful on who you connect. If by uh, some reason you were, you know, you found out our channel, uh, via Instagram, if someone added you, please, that is a fake account. That is not us. So I really, really encourage you to report or block or be mindful of who you engage because the person is asking money. And it's just really, I don't know, uh, low vibe. So please do not engage, okay? So let us see what's happening towards you. Thank you for listening to that um, short advert. And um, we'll start your reading Capricorn. Your first card is you've got the Hermit card. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You've got the Page of Swords. You've got the Ace of Cups in reverse. Hmm. I feel like you're feeling... I feel like um, Capricorn, there's this sense of lost. You know, um, you feel like maybe you're getting older. <laughs> or, I don't know, I feel a bit sentimental with the Hermit card in here. You know, I'm also hearing the word or the song. You've lost and love and feeling. Oh, oh, love and feeling. That song. I, whenever I hear that song, I feel a bit sentimental. So maybe it is the vibe or the hype of the Valentine's Day. You know, we are going towards a very, you know, um... A Valentine's Day thingy kind of vibe next week and you hermit card page of swords you're wondering why this special person of yours is not paying attention with you why you're not getting the love or for some of you guys ace of cups you feel you've tried and you've tried and you've tried and it always it always it always sorry it always comes as a failure for some of you it's very sentimental. It's it it feels like you're looking into I don't know the whole love story of yours ever since you were a teenager. So I don't know, but I feel like you're very nostalgic. You're quite um looking looking into the past memory lane and the past versus now. Okay. So it's a bit nostalgic, it's a bit sweet, bit like bittersweet, you know. Um yeah, I feel like for some of you guys who want to get married, you know, like you're coming to a point where, you know, at my age, I want to get married. At my age, I want to have kids, family, or I want a, you're really thinking of commitment and you're kind of looking into like um, digging into the memory lane, some pictures, some old photos, some text and you're looking into, you know, Hermit card, the Hierophant card. Did I miss a soulmate? Or do I want to connect again with that lover or someone you're dating? You're very reflectionary, if that's a word. <laughs> but you're very, um, you're reflecting a lot on the failure of your relationship or connection. in the. Your, your mind is in the past. You know, you, you can't stay too much in the memory of the past. Because you can't change that. The past is the past. It gave us happiness and sorrow and a lot of learning. And it made us who we are right now. The, you know, our future, you know, if we want to secure the future, it is now. 
it is the present that will secure our future. So they don't stay too much in the past. Yeah, Eight of Cups, see? So it's telling you, my beautiful Capricorn friends, that there are some things in life that it doesn't work. And sometimes we don't understand the universe why things doesn't work. And trust me and believe me, there is a higher purpose. So the universe is saving you from more headache or heartache or pain. So embrace what you have right now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's so nice. This is the kind of reading that I want to hear and feel. Look, don't be afraid to be alone right now. Because sometimes being alone is what we need. Well, you're not actually alone because you've got friends, you've got family. You know, if you look around you, there is support around you that will make you feel not alone. So whenever you feel a bit like this, it's, I remember when I was single, I was really wanting to belong. You know, like I want to belong. I keep searching and searching and searching. And then I realize how can I belong to someone if I feel empty or not whole within me. So in order for you to be complete is you need to feel whole, 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 sorry, bad English. But you know what I mean? You need to feel as a person complete before you look outside of what's missing. So go internally. And when I was single, I realized that if love is not working for me, what areas of my life is working? And that is where I work hard for the channel. So you see, you might be single, but there is something in your life that is working or you've got a lot of time and space. So be productive to take care of yourself or be ambitious, you know? So yeah, I'm telling you, that is not going to be the case forever. So cheer up, my beautiful Capricorn, because you've got a Ten of Pentacles. Whatever you want, it's in your journey. Right now, you're passing into a journey where maybe you're meant to be alone, to think, to learn, to explore, to feel. You know, um, this is our life here as a human. It is a journey. So right now, when things aren't working in the love department, explore what you have. Feel, eat, sleep, entertain. Be whole while you're waiting for that, you know, someone. Because I see in you, Ten of Pentacles, whatever you want, complete family, kids, stable relationship, not just stable, mature. It's coming for you. I'm seeing a love romantic relationship in here, like a new, um, a new prospect around the month of april and may so right now if you feel like okay you're feeling down you're feeling blue it's you know it's the hype probably of the valentine's day don't be sad don't be sad we are all together sometimes in this journey okay so be productive counter that thoughts of low vibe and get up get out explore you know breathe and yeah be you know um yeah, some, it, it is our responsibility to make ourselves happy. So that would that should start from us, okay? So hopefully I'd be able to cheer you up with those messages. And um, okay, next reading, okay, you've got a Queen of Wands, the Empress card, and the Nine of Wands. Hmm. You know, be careful. Um, you have so many friends, or maybe you're famous, I don't know, but you've got this friend... Um, Capricorn, be careful because you've got this Queen of Wands. This is not friendly. You have this instinct that this person, this persona, I feel like it's a friend. It is not friendly. It is not working in your favor. In fact, it is like two-faced. It could be a person at work. If not a person at work, it could be an actual friend who you had a fall apart and then you're reconnecting again. Um, be careful. They will ask a favor and I think it's about money. I think it's about recommendation. I think it's about reputation as well. But if your instinct tells you to not trust this person, most especially if you're, you know, if you're telling, I don't know, some personal experience, some feelings, maybe you're feeling down and you tend to connect with this person, people, they use 
your sadness in some way that it's not good. So if you feel like you've got this person who you feel like it's not genuine, disconnect. Because they're the one who's gossiping. They're the one who's spilling your secrets with other people. There is also someone in your work that might be like watching you and maybe stealing your ideas something to do with really playing close to you so that they could get information so if you feel most especially this week um mid of this week the incoming week if you if you listen to your intuition listen to the voice of your intuition because it will guide you to not engage do not connect don't trust and follow that we have instinct okay this queen of wands and then the last three thing oh look at that the knight of wands i told you guys so in the month of because star card i feel like this is your energy right now you're feeling sad you're feeling blue aquarius season don't be march april may your love connection will improve your love communication will improve do not depend all of your life happiness just because you don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend, please. It's not like that. Although sometimes, you know, loneliness sometimes hits us, hit us. So when you feel like so down, so low, that is where we stand up and, look, and we look for resources that can cheer us up. You know, I do pull out affirmation cards or I do watch inspiring you know, women's story. So uplift yourself because I'm telling you, April, May, you will be hit by Knight of Wands and Temperance card. Really good candidates. Soulful connection, stable, flirty. And you will be showered, like back-to-back -back opportunity, April, May, June. April, May, June. Okay? So, wow. <laughs> this is what I got for you. Thank you so much, Capricorn, for being here. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching the video. Please don't forget to check as well our setting manifestation candle. This is free shipping worldwide. It comes with a tracking number. All of the profit goes to my beautiful team who make it who make it possible for me in terms of admin. And then, of course, at least 60% of the profit goes to my charity. We held, you know, every end of the year, December, we host a party to donate all of the merchandise that we um profit of the merchandise we earn via the website to our chosen charity so for those who have ordered thank you thank you thank you so much it means a lot to me to my team and that is me guys i will see you soon again you have a great day bye bye